But, uh, yeah, thank you. It's a, an absolute privilege to be chatting to you. And uh, it must be um, an interesting space for you to be in, because obviously you've, you've played in South Africa before. Uh, you have um, a very big following here, I think, at a time in your career when things were still building. And, you know, um, fast forward to 2023, 2024, um, your world from when you were here to today, quite different, yes? Indeed, yes. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a proper wrap up. Um, no, it's true. It, it, feels a, it feels a little unreal. I mean, Clement said it before, it's, um, it's been eight years. And as you said, in those eight years, a lot has changed personally in the world. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite, a, quite a big thing to, <laughs> to come back, you know. But it, isn't, it, isn't it refreshing to be able to come to a place that at, probably at a time, obviously, like I said, your following was, was absolutely growing. You, you had this, uh, this fan base, but then to, I get a sense that you coming back to South Africa now is almost a thank you for that investment or that commitment that was made back then what do you say yeah. yeah 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 definitely i mean um yeah as you said it's like uh it's uh i think you should never take for granted that you know like back then we went to a lot of places for the first time mm. and then once you've been there and then you came you come you're coming back home and you just like continue making music and all that and then you you know you probably ask yourself like hmm are we ever are we ever gonna come back to that place or this yeah. town or you know or this country or was that a once in a lifetime kind of yeah. thing mm -hmm. sometimes i mean a lot of times it, it can be like that so um i think we're very happy mm -hmm. and grateful having the opportunity once again to you know to come back mm. so that's that's really nice and that um that speaks for yeah it speaks for itself you know like for yeah that we just have the best fans the most loyal mm -hmm. <laughs> following and that is that that feels great and that feels like a lot of appreciation in there you know so mm. um um I think yeah, it's also like coming back to South Africa is also like a yeah, like a thank you, a big thank you to the fans and like to yeah, to have a good time together with them and celebrate mm. that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely get a sense that obviously when you were out here last time, it left a, a marked impression on both of you to the point that you know you're playing Coachella, you're playing you know big stages all over the world, you. You, you know, South Africa is not your biggest market. It's not, um, you know, you could skip it and, you know, you would still, you know, your trajectory would still be heading in the same direction. Yet, I get a sense that you are very aware of, uh, or you remain humble <clears throat> to to the people who have kind of fed you through that eight-year journey. Absolutely. I mean, as Clement said, you know, it's... um. It's uh, it still feels special mm. that people, you know, support us and what we're doing, especially now over such a long time. Mm. Uh, and and especially in South Africa, because back then uh, with Rocking the Daisies, it was like I think they have that system. I don't know if they still have, but mm -hmm. that um, after the festival happens, they kind of pick who they would want to have to headline next year and i think they picked us twice and uh, that is unique you know like we never it's, had such a it's a it's a very direct showing of yeah. like people are wanting you to come not just like an industry or like not just like a like a plan that you made yeah to, yeah you know? yeah it's, it's like, it's, like a peop it's 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 the people's demand and i mean that obviously or not obviously maybe but to us feels very rich mm, yeah it's authentic right that uh, yeah it, yeah it comes from a good place but <clears throat> obviously you know you've you know um, and we'll touch on obviously the environmental stuff because you know you can't get away from it <laughs> it's it's kind of what mm. you do but before we jump it's in, everywhere <laughs> obviously the 
the power of streaming in yeah in certainly in your career so far has I think um, introduced you to an audience way bigger than even when you were with a label obviously you know you you now self-release um, but what was your, your your strategy because clearly it's been a very successful strategy um, and strategy sounds like a hard word but what I mean is you were clearly aware of it. You understood the power of it, and then you you embraced it to the point that you know you have the kind of numbers that put you in the top two percent of kind of Spotify um, artists who are generating an income from from it. Um, yeah, I mean to be honest and fair, it's always been the effort of more than two of us. Like mm -hmm. we, over the years, I guess if you can give us credit, it's also that we had a good, I mean, we also failed at it at the very beginning of our career, but we, um, we found good people mm -hmm. that we, uh, you know, uh, put around us and they, yeah, really helped us to, to build something that, as you said, um, made us very independent and safe and uh able to do what we're doing and live of it um hmm. probably also on a long-term base which is the biggest gift really and um yeah but i'm saying there's more minds behind that of helping course. us to 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 get that strategy going and um i guess it's yeah like after the first album which was just i kind of like put, would put that standalone because it was a Kind of extreme for many reasons and then the third and second was just we were with universal to kind of like gain structure and stability yeah also because yeah it was that phase where you know a lot was growing not just us <laughs> and uh so it was good to have structure and to kind of be a little bit more on the outside of things and then over the years, though, you learn a lot, and then it makes sense to put yourself back in the in the middle and in the driver's seat. And mm -hmm. uh, again, we also felt we had the right people very close and around us to do that step. And um, yeah, that's I guess you know works. Yeah, no, clearly, <laughs> clearly working very well indeed. So yeah, don't <clears throat> if it's not broken, don't fix it. But I think you're again, you're if it if it was a um, an intentional strategy or not it uh, you know i think um your your journey to get to where you are and be able to be in the position of independence um and being able to dictate where you go next is 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 very powerful but <clears throat> kind of moving on to you know and i think it's it, it's important that two of the venues that you're going to be playing at in south africa are very close to to eco parks <laughs> and botanical gardens just you know mm -hmm. uh, so um, it might not be quite there, but it's next door. But you know, the the environment, you know, <clears throat> when you advocate, obviously, for 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 change, climate change, and the rest, having that kind of balance of going, when do we sing and when do we advocate? Because at some point, people are going to say to you, "I just want you to sing," or they celebrate the fact that you that you have a moral compass and that you have a an environment. <clears throat> uh curiosity um and an investment that governments don't have um but how do you balance that where you don't alienate you know any of your audience uh you know potentially and i don't know if you've ever had any pushback where people say to you i just want you to sing i don't want you to talk about the environment mm. Mm. yeah i think it's it's, it's uh, not easy to balance also yeah. like to you know for ourselves like not um, like regarding of what people's reaction are, um, I think it's hard to balance in terms of you know how many time do you want to spend or can you spend on this topic or does it then you probably like once yeah you come to the point where you feel like oh I just you know I just want to go to the studio this is what I'm. Mm -hmm. This is what I always wanted to do. This is what I'm. This is what I'm good at. Hmm. You know, I'm not. I'm not a. You know, I'm not a. I'm not a scientist and whatever. You know, and um. So I think that's also like, that's very hard to balance. 
always mm. you know so still us i feel like right now for example i feel like yeah we did we did a lot like since well end of 2019 um but then i think like this year we we very much focused on you know the album release and the tour mm. and it became more of a you know a peripheral thing yeah which it, i think yeah like less it took in le- yeah less less space we had less mm. space for that so right now i'm thinking of yeah how can we like um you know lay it on your back. team lay it on your team yeah. make it your team's job then you get yeah. to focus on the music <laughs> <laughs> but uh philip and clemens um i could talk to you all day um we look forward to welcoming you back in south africa obviously it's the perfect time of year to escape berlin because it'll be warm and you'll very much true swim in the ocean so um we look forward to it and thank you for the music we are very excited for it too thanks for having us thanks guys